What's up everyone? So the video you're about to see was filmed just about like three months ago when indoor dining in Arizona just reopened. And seeing where we are right now in the US with respect to coronavirus response, in retrospect, maybe not the best idea. So just wanted to say here, as much as I and I'm sure many people around the world really want to get back to our old normal, we still have so much work to do in controlling this pandemic. If you do decide to eat out, do so carefully, wear a mask, it's not that hard. Bring some hand sanitizer, be kind to the waiters there, don't go out in big groups, you know, just common sense stuff. I will say though that the location this was filmed at, Chompy's, did a phenomenal job with social distancing and reopening policies. Hopefully other restaurants are following suit though, from what I've seen, not quite the case. Yeah, with that said, enjoy the video and please proceed with caution when it comes to going out. Use your common sense. Don't be stupid. And I will be in the room the whole time. If you Sounds need good. anything, water, more napkins, another soap, whatever, no, a bucket, you let me know. <laughs> <laughs> What is up everyone? Hello from VoiceOver Bruce. So yeah, like I said in the intro, this Chompy's location did an absolutely phenomenal job with social distancing policies when indoor dining reopened in Arizona. The staff, they were at 25% capacity. Literally every time someone would get up, the staff would brush over and disinfect every square millimeter of a table. And then as for me, they had me tucked away in this corner of what was a former like party big gathering room, partly because of COVID-19 restrictions. In the part, they wanted to help protect my own pride as I would shovel massive amounts of food in my face. And who really wants to see that? So thanks, Chompies. And then what I'm signing right now is this waiver saying that I am acknowledging that I am legally insane and that I am more aware of that fact and that I or my future heirs will not sue the establishment if I'm injured in any way, shape, or form during the challenge. But jokes on them, I'm not having children because who would want to reproduce with this? Got him. So we got matzo ball. Awesome. Six pastrami potato pancake in Swiss, a bowl of coleslaw, awesome. six mini black and white cookies. Perfect. All right, so we're going to have 30 minutes, everything on the plate, except for the ketchup and water needs to be cleared completely. All righty. Do we have any questions or is there anything else I can grab right now? Uh, can we pause up one more small plate? Whatever works for you, brother. Appreciate it. Yeah, you just heard it from Shay right there. First of all, shout out. If you're ever watching this, Shay, amazing job. He was super nice. Same with the entire staff over there at that Chompy's location. And sorry for the absolutely terrible camera angle, guys. As you can tell, this was my first attempt at filming a food challenge. Can't really see everything in the shot. Still got a pretty good thumbnail out of it though. Get a couple pictures real quick. Yeah, absolutely. Right. And I will be in the room the whole time. If you Sounds need good. anything, water, more napkins, another soap, whatever, no, a bucket, you let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be happy to get you whatever Appreciate you need. Just it. let me know whenever you're ready. Alright. I'll let you start yours first. Alright, good to go. Good. Alright, start mine as well. Perfect. Enjoy. Good Thank luck. you. Thank you. And we are off to the races. So as you guys can see right here, standard kind of like best practice for competitive eating is to start with proteins first and then save the carbs towards the end because carbs have a tendency to expand in your stomach and you don't want to be dealing with that as you're trying to wolf down 20 pounds of meat. So get the meat out of the way first and then work on the carbs. But every body's body is different. And for me personally, I have to kind of intermittently put in the carbs because I get flavor fatigue super super easily. So I've got to make sure I mix up my flavors um, throughout a challenge so that I don't end up hitting a wall super quickly. Every last piece of food here was absolutely fantastic. The pastrami there was delicious. And like, I absolutely despise coleslaw, but this coleslaw I could have eaten all day. And I love it too when part of the challenge is a liquid because, you know, you've always got to be drinking water. I mean, some kind of eaters, they prefer to use carbonated beverages to help with the whole burping process and all. I did that my first couple of times and I just, I don't know, it just took up more room because I couldn't burp and it just ended up taking up more space. So I prefer water, but that matzo ball soup, mm, so good. Oh, I didn't realize that either. <laughs> I'm so quiet. It's focused. I like it. It's 
yeah, Shay's awesome. So listening to music, you know, that's personal preference and everything. I prefer to do it because um, first of all, sometimes you know, I'm sitting with people while I'm doing these food challenges, which shout out to anyone who's ever sat with me as I did a food challenge because it's not a pretty sight. But yeah, as much as I want to have a conversation, I can't really have a conversation. So music helps me kind of just tune it all out, get in the zone, and then just not think about how much food I'm eating. Oh, and here we go on the starches, baby. Okay, these latka patties were absolutely delicious once again, but I'm not used to eating greasy foods. It was definitely on the greasier side. So as it goes on, I, you need to see the grease just kind of glisten off of the hash brown patties here. It, it, it can get to your head. So you just kind of just kind of plow through. Oh, and you may be thinking, oh, Bruce, you're doing a great job so far. Great pacing. Um, let's keep in mind that I had been moving all of the hash browns off to the side. And then also to the uh, cookies are off camera right now. Ketchup is something I discovered was one of my secret weapons. Ketchup and mustard. Any chance I can to add them, it helps with the once again the flavor fatigue there. Yeah, well, we have the time here. We're just chilling. Chompies also has a second challenge called the Ultimate Jewish Sliders Challenge. And that one is going to be 12 sliders that have challah bread buns, latkes, pastrami, Swiss cheese, and then like a pound and a half of onion strings. I tried that as my first ever food challenge about two years ago. I got halfway through, which was pretty impressive for no training whatsoever, but that challenge is by far way more difficult than this one, partly because I knew I was getting into this one, and also too, the variety of foods here, absolutely spectacular. And speaking of variety, here we are with this, oh. Oh my goodness, like I said, flavor fatigue, I get that so easily. So any welcome sweetness I can introduce to a challenge, perfect. And those black and white cookies were actually just delicious. Super, super chewy and dense though, which you will see later. for a burp here. Man, I don't know if you can see the relief in my eyes right now as I'm eating this matzo ball, but I was absolutely terrified this matzo ball would be like 20 times denser than any of these hash brown patties were. And it was actually way lighter than I thought, which was an absolute relief. If anything, it helped kind of push the food down and acted like, a, like this really lightweight, airy plug that just kind of moved everything down. This is probably the closest I will ever come to giving birth. Excuse me. Oh, there it is. Oh, we're good to go. Oh my goodness, the burp right there. Game changer. That is like Mario Kart where you get that bullet bill. It takes you from 12th to 1st. This is a very flattering angle of me too. Definitely should be my new Bumble profile pic right there. I would swipe right on that any day of the week. This is always the hardest part, starches. This is where the rubber just meets the road. For me, I, what I, my strategy is I just load my mouth up as much as I can, just get big old chipmunk cheeks. And then whatever liquid is lying around, use that to break it down in my mouth and then basically just end up drinking the potatoes or bread or whatever it is. Beyond trying to burp, you can see now that I'm chewing a lot more with every single shovel and that's a sign of getting that food wall where you keep chewing but for some reason you can't bring yourself to swallow it's like right here i like just feel the burp coming out come on Like I said, 12th place to first place, Bullet Bill, Burps, incredible, game changer. 
There it is. We're loading up the chipmunk cheeks and then just letting it chew. Get a little sips of water, dissolve, swallow, rinse, repeat. Also special shout out to the other employee who literally stood there starting around like minute 25 and just recorded on his phone the rest of the way. He was probably my biggest fan. Like, sorry, Shay, you were spectacular, but mystery man just standing there. Wow. Talk about true dedication like that. That is just probably how the Beatles felt when they came to America for the first time. Desperate times call for desperate measures. We are double decorating the cookies right now. And like I said, these cookies were super rich, but super doughy, super chewy. So like they last a long time, which is great when trying to savor it, but when you've got six minutes to wolf down as many as you can, not the best. I wonder if I scared them as I was trying to burp there. Like, did they think I was about to just vomit all over the table? by the end of it? Yeah. Oh, okay. You have to keep it down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank goodness, because I am not a swallower. And we did it. 15 seconds to spare. Man, have I gotten out of competitive eating shape. You're good, man. I've got to go stand over you. You're golden. Congratulations. Hey. He's like, I'm going to eat you. <laughs> Brother, there you go. So you got past the hump there. You take your time. Take your time. <laughs> Shay was awesome. I hope he's still working there. Like promote this man. He was great. Couple for a wall here. You take your time. Here you go. One more like this. Get the picture of the background. Beautiful. After you're done, you're able to. I'd like you also if you can move over to this side just so I can have mm -hmm. away from all the dirty plates. Take your time though. Certainly no rush. Oh, I don't know, Shay. Asking me to move two feet was actually a lot. Your ice cream fear. Terror. <laughs> Needless to say, this was a super fun food challenge. Absolutely delicious food. If you have a Chompies in your area, go check them out. If you've ever come to Arizona, check them out too. If you want some classic New York deli Jewish food, this is the place to go. Oh my goodness. And for completing the challenge, they did give me a pretty sweet t-shirt here, the 40th anniversary logo there. And on the back, love.
Love. Love always wins. And then this is an XL. This was the smallest size they had there, which kind of sad. They assume people who complete this challenge aren't any smaller than an XL. But uh, they also, two part of the prizes were some mugs here celebrating the 40th anniversary, um, which I now have probably displayed on my trophy shelf next to my Little League trophies. It's all downhill from here. Like I said in the intro, in retrospect, probably not the smartest idea. I definitely don't condone just willy-nilly going about like a pandemic is not happening. And just, you know, keep doing simple things, common sense things, don't be stupid. Wear a mask, wash your hands, keep your group outing small, socially distance, and do not think that your little world that you're living in is representative of the rest of the world because if you have that logic going forward, we're gonna be stuck in this quarantine pandemic for a very, very, very long time. But yeah, until then, looking forward to doing some food challenges in the future. Maybe I'll even try the Ultimate Jewish Sliders Challenge again, who knows. Until then, stay healthy and happy, everyone.